In Barrel right now, a Category 3 hurricane. We've got wind sustained at 120 miles per hour. You can see it's just uh, to the west of Jamaica now. It is going to continue on a westward track, moving across the Yucatan Peninsula as a Category 1 hurricane uh, tomorrow. After that, it will emerge in the Gulf over the weekend, headed towards really the border of Mexico and Texas, where it could potentially re-strengthen into a Category 1 hurricane just before landfall late in the weekend into early next week. The bulk of the impacts from this system over the weekend are going to be felt across Mexico and Texas, but along our area beaches, this is going to bring a higher risk of rip currents. So if you're headed down to the beach this weekend, be sure you are checking those local beach flags. I do want to remind you that double red flags means that the water is closed for safety reasons. Now, Saturday and Sunday, that's when we do have a forecast for a high risk of rip currents. Please Please take those seriously. I know it's going to be hot outside. You're going to want to get in the water, but when those red flags are flying, that does mean that the water is dangerous. Close to home, we are calm and quiet to get you started this 4th of July. We've got temperatures that are a little bit muggy. We're in the 70s to get you out the door. Later today, if you are going to be out and about, it's going to feel just downright hot. We've got a heat advisory that covers almost all of central and north Alabama. That means heat index values could exceed 105 at times today, and there are some spots that could feel as hot as 108. A closer look at what we're going to feel like during the afternoon. Almost everybody feeling like the triple digits today. There is a small chance for a shower or thunderstorm. That would mainly be during the afternoon and early evening hours. Otherwise, we've got a partly cloudy sky. Thermometer will show you a temperature in the 90s, but as we just talked about, it is going to feel hotter than that. So let's break down the day hour by hour. We've got a few clouds around to get you started, but by lunchtime, partly cloudy, and you see these are just very hit and miss. Not everybody is going to see rain today. Same story through 3 p.m. And as we head into the evening hours, more of the same. Very isolated hit and miss thunderstorms that will be fading as we lose the daytime heating. So uh, as we do head into the later evening hours, uh, that small chance of storms will be fading away. I want to remind you that we are very dry, so be sure if you are setting off fireworks, you're very careful. At the time of fireworks, we will have a temperature in the 80s. And looking ahead towards the weekend, we actually have a front that's going to be approaching. That's going to bring up our rain coverage for tomorrow. So we're looking at scattered showers and thunderstorms. Then over the weekend, we get a shot of some drier air around, and that's going to help the way we feel just a bit on Saturday and Sunday before we see more showers and storms in the forecast next week.